My name is Nova and I'm a sneaker reseller. Join me in my journey where I turn hype sneakers into riches. Three checkouts now. Oh, that's two actually. nine checkouts however two did get cancelled very important release tomorrow the jordan one tie dyes oh my god i got one two another one i'm at four now yo kodai is oh another oh. one five let's get it these definitely look way better in hand than in the pictures however they are That easy quantum drop on Lapstone and Hammer was absolutely crazy. I got seven checkouts. They didn't even have any bot protection on or anything. And those checkouts were mainly due to Shuplex's early link information. That came in super clutch. I actually woke up maybe like 10 minutes right before the drop and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go for this. And what do you know? Seven checkouts just like that. Super fast, super easy, no effort at all. However, four of those orders did get canceled, but if they do ship out the remaining three orders that didn't get canceled, that would still be a really big W. So I'm really happy about that cop. Anyways, we do have tons of packages to open up. So let's get to it. So we got seven Jordan 1 mids that came in the mail. Unfortunately, these weren't the money makers that a lot of people were hoping they would be. They kind of bricked a little bit, however, I would still be able to sell them at a profit if I dropped them off at consignment or rather if I shipped them out. I don't drop off at consignment anymore as of right now. We also have another Yeezy Barium that came in size 11. And we have the pink cause take figure. I am not going to be opening this because I don't want to remove it from the bag. It's just too much work and I've already sold this. So I just want to pack it up in a box and then send it to my buyer. And that is it. All right, we got some bad news. Undefeated canceled the rest of my barium orders from them. I really didn't expect that being that undefeated usually just cancels on the same day. Um, this time they canceled me like a few days after the release. So yeah, that's another two less bariums that I'm going to be getting in hand. By the way, I sold a few stuff on stadium goods. So here is a profit chart. The Yeezy 700s did sell quite fast. Almost as soon as that showed up on my seller portal, it sold right away. So I'm probably just gonna hold on to the rest of my Yeezy 700s because the prices on those are going up pretty quickly. Anyways, next up we have another dunk low that will be dropping very, very soon in less than an hour. I don't know why, but my luck when it comes to dunks is just not that good. Uh, but hopefully I don't screw this up because the rumored stock is pretty high, especially on Shopify. So hopefully we can get some. We'll see how we end up doing. That one.
Oh, star, star, star. That dunk release went all right. I only got one, but I feel like I definitely could have gotten more. I got caught off guard when DSM dropped like super early. I think they dropped like 30 seconds before the scheduled release time and they didn't have anti-bot. So that means it sold out instantly. So if you weren't running with already decent delays before they dropped, then you probably got an L. But one is better than none and these do have really high profit margins so I am happy about that one cop. However, it is Kith and Kith does like to cancel so I just have to pray and hope that my one pair does not get canceled. Anyways, we do have another drop tomorrow. Tomorrow we actually have Supreme Motion Logo t-shirts. Supreme really isn't my thing. I'm not very good at Supreme, but these t-shirts are really hyped up. So I guess it doesn't hurt to try. I'm not expecting to get anything just because it's been a while since I've gone for Supreme. So I'm not really sure what to do or how to set up my bot, but I will be giving it a go. Hopefully we can get something. I was initially gonna pass on the Jordan 14 Toros, but the prices absolutely skyrocketed. So I know that I had to cop a bunch of them and that's exactly what I did. I got a lot of checkouts, Cyber and Toro held it down. Even Kodai got some checkouts for me. So I'm just gonna keep it running for a few more hours. I'm probably gonna get a bunch more if they do decide to put in more waves of restocks. So that's some pretty good news. I was able to cop a lot of those Jordan 14s. By the way, they were all big sizes, anything size nine and up. As of right now, the resale prices are looking to be around $280. And boom, I just copped another one. So that is really dope. I'm probably gonna list a bunch of pre-orders on eBay because that's what I did for the Flint and that made me a lot of money. Anyway, Supreme is going to be dropping in about two minutes. This is going to be my first time using AutoSolve for Supreme or anything other than Yeezy supply related. So I hope it works out correctly. Uh, I remember before there were some issues with AutoSolve when it came down to Supreme, but I heard it's been working pretty good recently. So hopefully I set it up correctly. Uh, I have very low expectations for the Supreme drop, but let's just see if I get anything. Bus. Oh shoot, slow fading already, really? Submitting order. I guess my gmails aren't that good. Oh my gosh, these slow fading captures are killing me. Oh dude, that's very slow. I got the very slow cap. Alright, so that Supreme release went exactly as I predicted. All I got were a bunch of payment errors, payment declines, and processing, which is a huge tease and it just goes straight to decline. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. I even used credit cards that I've never used on Supreme before, and I still get declined. I don't see any other reason other than the fact that my information might be banned on Supreme, even if I do jig the address. So. Yeah, 
not really sure and there is really no excuse because i used mech which is one of the very very few bots that actually did work on supreme and i still took an l you guys saw what happened so that is unfortunate but it's not that big of a deal on the other hand i have about 28 checkouts for the jordan 14s got it all on foot sites i started my tasks really late because i wasn't originally expecting to go for this drop but after prices went up since these were actually really hard to get i started running my tasks unfortunately though their payment processor is doing something a little bit funny they are canceling about 70 to 80 percent of my orders so that's really really annoying uh, surely they're gonna keep restocking these but it has slowed down for now so I did stop my tasks but if they do like waves of restocks for them in the next few days and obviously I'm gonna try to get as many as I can again I think the best way to get these might be through finish line which I did not run the initial drop for and it did sell out very quickly on that website so a little bit later tonight what I'm gonna be doing is seeing which pairs didn't get cancelled and then I'll be listing them on eBay as pre-orders. Anyways, we did get a bunch of shoes in the mail today. First one is another pair of Yeezy Quantum size 7. And then we got 5 pairs of Jordan 1 tie-dyes. Let's see how these look in hand. They're cool, I guess. Leather is pretty soft. Honestly, this kind of looks like a GR colorway. I don't know why. It just doesn't give me that expensive and like premium feel to it if you catch my drift it looks like a kid's shoe tomorrow we do have more drops the nike space hippie collection now these shoes are really really interesting so hopefully i can get them however i do think this is going to be quite a difficult cop but we're going to be trying our best We'll see how I end up doing in the next episode.